people talk about we should go out, this is what they're talking about. Not one person here is home. We're all out. There are people trying to find us. They don't know where we are. From stand-up. The second button literally makes or breaks the shirt. To sitcom. Look at it. It's too high. On July 5th, 1989, comedian Jerry Seinfeld brought his unique brand of observational humor to television. Jerry creating a show originally called The Seinfeld Chronicles with friend and fellow comedian Larry David. I don't know what this means. It's like working with Tolstoy. The groundbreaking sitcom opening the door for its quirky cast of characters to become some of the most beloved in TV history. Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer helping the show about nothing become something of a pop culture phenomenon. Hello, Newman. Can't top this. This is, I mean, this is my life. I, this is, I can't do anything better than this. During its nine season run, Seinfeld mined the mundane for laughs. But would you mind? I can't. I don't have a square to spare. It's characters agonizing over the smallest of life's challenges. I was in the pool! For some reason, everybody knows a George or, you know, the worst thing is people go, you're me, you're living my life. Like, oh, boy, I'm so sorry. To hear. Seinfeld left a lasting impact on our lexicon, popularizing countless words and catchphrases still in use today. Yada, yada, yada. Serenity now! No soup for you! I think this is the same one I gave him. Also added to our vocabulary, the re-gifter. He's a re-gifter! The double dipper and... What's that? Excuse me? The low talker. Why are you wearing this now? Because the low talker asked me to, that's why. Thanks to Kramer's low talking girlfriend, Jerry inadvertently agreed to wear the now infamous puppy shirt during his appearance on the Today Show to promote a charity event. That is a very, very unusual shirt you have on. They're all kind of, kind of puffed up. Yeah, it's a puppy shirt. A memorable NBC crossover, but not the last time Seinfeld and Today would end up in the same neck of the woods. Yes, your boyfriend's gonna have to catch the next train. He's not my boyfriend. He's not? Interesting. I'm a big fan of a program called The Today Show. Oh, y'all. Signs of a lasting friendship, well after Seinfeld rap. Do you have a favorite episode? The, the marine biologist, the, when Kramer hits the golf ball into the blowhole of the whale. See, now to me, that button is in the worst possible spot. When Seinfeld signed off in May of 1998, more than 76 million viewers tuned in to watch the series finale. Despite ending on top as one of the most successful sitcoms of all time, Seinfeld almost never saw the light of day. A now famous NBC research memo revealing the pilot rated poorly amongst the test audience. I don't like anything where people go woo. I asked both Jerry and Julia Louis Dreyfus about that memo in recent interviews. I think the line was no segment of the audience expressed an interest in seeing the show again. Right. How did you get through that? How did you power over that? No, I figured we were dead at that point. <laughs> Did you feel it turn at some point along the run and oh. say, this is a different show now and we're growing our audience? I guess I felt the turn when they put us on Thursday nights, <laughs> you know, because prior to that, we had a pretty crappy time slot. Kudos, Elaine, on a job. Done. <laughs> what about my stock options? I think not. And all of a sudden, our audience was were growing and growing. You had to have to be! And they're still growing today, as the iconic show lives on in syndication and more recently on streaming services. This is so f***ing good. A new generation of fans is celebrating 30 years of Seinfeld. I think I can sum up the show for you with one word. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And, of course, the popularity wow. of Seinfeld has helped launch other projects for everybody involved. Co-creator Larry David brought that same brand of humor to HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm. Julia Louis-Dreyfus just wrapped up the hit sitcom Veep. And, of course, Jerry himself has a roving talk show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. By the way, you can check out Today.com for interviews with guest stars, including Larry Thomas, who played the infamous Soup Nazi.